In the Indian Ocean, off the southeastern coast of Africa, Madagascar is truly unique in several respects. By volume, it's our planet's fourth largest island, considered worthy of continent status by many. In contrast to the neighboring Comoro or Mauritius, its development is not the result of volcanic activity. It split from the African continent hundreds of millions of years ago. This beautiful island is also called Noah's Ark, as its flora and fauna are unique, having developed undisturbed for millennia. About 80 to 90% of the plants and animals can be found nowhere else in the world. 5% of Earth's total plant and animal species are found in Madagascar, and only in the last decade, 615 new species have been discovered. The island's inhabitants are also special. The first people came here 2,000 years ago, arriving from the archipelago of Indonesia, most likely from Borneo or Celebes. Being mixed with East African settlers, they created today's population of the area, the ethnic group of Malagasy. Madagascar was mentioned by Marco Polo, and the Portuguese explorer Diego Diaz also indicated the existence of the island around 1500. However, its true explorer is believed to have been Francisco de Almeida. Although by the end of the 17th century, the French, the Dutch, the Portuguese and the English had alternately tried to settle here, the French were ultimately successful in colonization. One outstanding figure in the island's history was the Hungarian Count Maurice Benyovsky, who was among the first in exploring the interior areas, then winning the confidence of the natives, became governor. This country, as a member of the French community, received autonomy in 1958 and two years later, formally became independent with the name of Malagasy Republic first, then the Democratic Republic of Madagascar. The port of Marowancitra is located on the northernmost part of Antongil Bay, situated at the mouth of the river Antainambalana. The name itself means many spears in the Malagasy language. Approximately a two-hour trip from here, natural treasures of stunning beauty are hidden, available in the past for no one else but the pirates. The northeastern part of Madagascar, on the Masawala Peninsula, the island's largest nature conservation area of 410,000 hectares, which was formed in 1997 and, together with five other national parks, collectively called the Atsinanana Rainforests, became a World Heritage Site in 2007. The name of this area is quite telling. Maso means the eye, and ala means the forest, which refers to the value and extent of the area.
The peninsula gives home to the largest lowland rainforest in Madagascar. In some places, it forms a coherent blanket to the azure waters of Ontangil Bay, where from June to September, humpback whales dwell. The bay's warm, sheltered waters are ideal for these wonderful marine animals to mate and produce. Some estimates suggest that 50% of the island's marine life lives here. With 5,000 kilometers of coastline, Madagascar is surrounded by 250 islands. The world's biggest barrier reef is also found here, which provides a home for countless creatures. Besides whales, sharks, and dolphins, 100 species of fish and five of the seven critically endangered turtles live here. The marine reserves, as part of Masawala National Park, the western Tampolo, the southern Ambodilaitri, and the eastern Ifahu, are Madagascar's most interesting marine zones. The view of untouched beaches, rugged with black rocks in the golden sand and the ocean, gives the feeling of a tropical Garden of Eden. Rainforests evolved along the equator 60 million years ago, but unfortunately, their territory is getting smaller and smaller. Due to the Ice Age weather change and the destructive activities of man, only about four to eight million square kilometers of rainforest are left today. Eighty-five percent of the island's natural rainforest cover has now been lost, mainly as a result of logging and burning methods of agriculture.
Eastern Madagascar is covered by one of three main types of rainforests, the evergreen tropical rainforest. Here, there are practically no seasons. The temperature is constantly between 25 and 27 degrees Celsius. The peninsula is the country's wettest area. The annual rainfall exceeds 5,000 millimeters. For this reason, the humidity here is very high. We can distinguish primary or completely intact and secondary rainforests, which grow on former clearing areas. According to a recent survey, besides Congo and Sudan, the largest rainforest in its original state is here in Madagascar. A rainforest is typically divided into layers based on the height of the forest plants, between which there is no clear dividing line. They are often confluent. The upper emergent level is composed of giant trees, so-called emergents, which can reach up to 50 to 60 kilometers in height. Their huge trunks can be up to 5 meters in diameter near the ground. In the middle level, the canopies of the normal-sized trees form an almost completely closed cover 15 to 45 meters above the ground. This level is home to the two-thirds of the tropical rainforest plants and animals. In both canopy levels, epiphytic plants can be found, which are rooted in the ground, but climb to the air, clinging on the trunks of other trees. Parasitic plants, however, occupy tree trunks, branches, or canopies, and use nutrients and water found here. Very little light reaches the bottom layer of the forest, so under the canopies, the forest floor is in permanent semi-darkness. Here, only a few plants can live, such as ferns and fungi, which are adapted to low light, and fauna are represented by invertebrates mainly insects. In the rainforest, moss can be found at all levels. It has an important role in water storage and continuous moisture supply. Scientists believe about 70% of the population of the Earth's flora and fauna live in tropical rainforests. The total number of species is still not known for sure. One assumption is at the place of former rainforests, which disappeared during the Ice Age, some creatures remained and weren't wiped out completely, so in isolated areas, new plant and animal species could evolve. Then, after global warming, when the forests expanded again, they adopted the renewed organisms. Rainforest species usually occur in only a small area and are not found anywhere else in the world. Their habitat is sometimes only a few hundred square meters, which means that the destruction of a very small area of rainforest can delete one or two species forever from the Earth. Only recently has it been recognized that Earth's green lungs have an important role in our planet's climate, so we need to protect this common heritage of mankind. This gave the idea to create Masawala National Park in Madagascar, which protects 2,300 square meters of rainforest and 100 square kilometers of marine parks. This is one of the richest wildlife areas on Earth. The 520 hectare Nasi Magabi Special Reserve and more than 20 multifunctional zones belong to Masawala National Park, where locals can fish, gather food, collect arbals, and cut trees down for constructional purposes under supervision of park officers. Providing their activity does not exceed the permissible limit. Within the park, a great variety of ecosystems can be observed, from coral reefs to middle-height rainforests, through coastal forests, flooded forests, marshes, and mangrove forests. 
One of the most extensive mangrove forests in the West Indian Ocean can be found here, in which nine specimens of the species are represented. Madagascar has more than 12,000 plant species, of which 85% are only found on the island. Orchids are represented by about 1,000 species, of which 85% are endemic. Around 130 palm species grow in Madagascar, 50 of them in the conservation area. Madagascar is the home of the Ravanala, which is the national emblem and symbol of the country. Its other name, Traveler's Palm, refers to the legend that it provided fresh water for needy travelers. Among woody plants, the most valuable ones and therefore most at risk are ebony and rosewood. In the national park, around 2,500 species are represented. Virtually all of the 100 or so species of mammals native to Madagascar are endemic, and the third most primates can be found here. On Masawala Peninsula, there are several specimens, including 10 Lemur species. These Lemuriform primates have remained on Earth only in Madagascar and on some surrounding islands. Currently, more than 50 species are known. The most advanced and also the rarest of them is the Ai Ai, which is now almost at the edge of extinction and has virtually disappeared everywhere but Nasi Mangabi Island. The wildlife of Madagascar is further enhanced by magnificent birds. More than half of the 200 bird species breeding on the island are indigenous. Masawala Peninsula is one of the most important bird-watching places in the country. More than 90 avian species live here. The most important of them are vangas, bats, owls, and serpent eagles, which occur only in small numbers. It is also worth mentioning that there are 600 species of reptiles and amphibians in Madagascar, over 90% of them endemic. One of the distinctive and brightly colored inhabitants of the conservation area is the false tomato frog, or Dyscophis guineti, but there are many geckos and chameleons as well. Regarding the latter, Madagascar can boast of the greatest species abundance outside West Africa. Nearly half of the approximately 150 species live here. Masawala Peninsula is one of the last resorts on Earth where nature still reigns in all its glory. Although at first sight the rainforest can seem mysterious and frightening, there is no real threat lurking here. In Madagascar, there are no large beasts or predators. In contrast, people unscrupulously destroy the island's plants and animals in the hope of huge financial gain. Nowadays, illegal logging and hunting for lemuriforms is still going on at a furious pace. So, unfortunately, this place is the world's most threatened ecosystem. Due to this sad fact, UNESCO included the rainforests of Atsinanana on the World Heritage List. This stunning island is not only interesting, but very valuable too. Its incomparable natural endowment and wildlife features make it one of the world's five most valuable habitats, the so-called ecological hotspots. Perhaps due to this fact, Madagascar is aptly named the biological treasure chest of the Earth. Conservation efforts of the last few years are encouraging, so we can hope that the destruction of Madagascar's unique creatures will not continue, and we will be able to admire its beauty for a very long time.